Welcome to the Worst Wrestler Tournament for Smackdown. Here comes the pain. Here is an opening round match. Sean O'Hare takes on Val Venus. Here we are, we're off and away in the Worst Wrestler Tournament. Sean O'Hare takes on Val Venus here in the first round. Tajiri taking on Goldust in another quarterfinal matchup. Rico challenges Rodney Mack and to round out the brackets, Chavo Guerrero will take on Steven Richards. These are the eight lowest ranked wrestlers in Here Comes the Pain. Who will be the worst wrestler of all? Uh, excluded a few wrestlers um, who weren't really full time wrestlers on the roster. Into Man, Eric Bischoff, a um, few of the lower ranked. There was a roll up, very quick roll up from Val Venus. And we're beginning commentary here in the band of Joey Styles by myself. Could be. I thought it was a money shot, but an elbow off the top. Counted by Sean O'Hare. Very underrated. Here comes the Widowmaker, if I remember rightly. Will Sean O'Hare get an early pinfall? I believe the only SmackDown game that Sean O'Hare is in. Offense from Sean O'Hare in the early part of this matchup. First minute done. Working on the knee of Val Venus will be really interesting. The way this concept works, if you're not sure, it's an eight man tournament. If you lose the match, it's a reverse tournament. You advance to the next round, you advance to the semi finals. If you lose, you advance to the final. If you lose the final, you have the honour or dishonour of being the worst wrestler in SmackDown. Here comes the pain. Check out some of the other worst wrestler tournaments on the channel. Started with the original SmackDown, SmackDown 2, then just bring it and shut your mouth. There are tournaments for, please check them out. Single leg Boston Crab from Val Venus. Very interesting attire, um, not the traditional kind of purple attire that he had through most of his career. Fisherman suplex. Will this be enough to put Sean O'Hare away? Long two count and a kick out. Very even match. I'd give the edge to uh, to Val Venus at this stage. Seems to be on top. If he can hit another finisher, he might escape the worst wrestler tournament. Nice suplex from Sean O'Hare. Very close to the ropes though. You can hit another Widowmaker. This might be the end of Alvinus. Alvinus fighting back, locking up again. Another Fisherman suplex. The third Fisherman suplex or perfect flex in the match. Is that enough? No, Sean O'Hare kicks out. Nice big whip to the corner. Reversal by Valvinus. Sean O'Hare falls over. Locks up again. Lots of locking up in this match. Nice overhead throw by Sean O'Hare. Tag team champion, WCW tag team champion, Chuck Palumbo. Val Venus, a former intercontinental champion himself. Missed the, uh, missed the Swanton Bomb. It's a bit of a shame, I'd have put Val Venus away with that move. Low blow ref. Venus going for a submission. It's a reverse figure four knee bar. I don't remember him doing this very often. Don't know where they found that finisher. Now with a pin. One count from Sean O'Hare. This match going into the fourth minute. Quite a long match in the uh, SmackDown series. Very evenly matched. Remember, the loser of this match takes on the loser of Tajiri versus Goldust in the semi finals. Val looks in trouble. The head turns him over for the pin. Too close to the ropes by Sean O'Hare. Very silly maneuver. Val 
Oh, no time for posing. Still the big right hand from O'Hare. Indeed, the wrestler's not very happy at all to be included in this tournament. It's gone up the, the ratings for um, Here Comes the Pain. Both Sean O'Hare and Balvina spoke of a rating of 85 going into this. Uh, so you can see why they are so evenly matched in this contest. They are hammering away with right hands and a DDT by Valvinus. I think if we can get another Fisherman Suplex, he might get the three count on Sean O'Hare. This has been a highly contested first matchup. Here we go. One. Oh, count one. Wow, interesting shoulder breaker from Sean O'Hare. Could be looking for the Widowmaker. There it is, here's the Widowmaker, and I would say that will be all. One, to the middle. Two, three. Here's the count. And Val Venus advances to the semi final. So Sean O'Hare is the victor, which means he escapes out of the worst rest of the tournament. Alvinus moves on to the semi final. Here we have the second quarter final match between Tajiri and Goldust. Tajiri and Goldust begin their quarter-final match. Tajiri looks to hit the buzzsaw kick straight away on Goldust. A hard kick to the head. Quick pin. And a kick out by Goldust. Very interesting match. Tajiri rated at 65 going into this match. Goldust, highest ranked competitor of the eight with a ranking of 68. Had a tiebreaker with the Hurricane just to be entered into this tournament. Unfortunately, Goldust um, has been entered and Hurricane escaped. I uh, look to Goldust to put on a strong showing. Big scoop slam from Goldust. Both former champions in their own right. Goldust, a former Intercontinental Champion and Tag Team Champion. Tajiri, former United States Champion, Cruiserweight Champion and Tag Team Champion with Eddie Guerrero. Huge kick to the face of Gold Dust. Be looking to get on top of Gold Dust with his array of kicks. Will we see the green mist in this match? Beautiful handspring elbow by Tajiri. Have a look, there are plenty more Worst Wrestler tournament videos on the channel. Give it a like, quick subscribe. Uh, there are Royal Rumble matches. There are plenty of other random matches as well to view if you um, would like to see some more wonderful PlayStation 1 and 2 action. Side slam from Goldust. Got the Boss Man slam, Sidewalk slam. Deep 2 count. Oh, Goldust has taken out the ref. Will that be a disqualification? Perhaps not. He's looking to take advantage with the ref down. Jerry fighting back with some right hands and an eye rake while the ref's not looking. Jerry, very accomplished wrestler, wrestling in ECW before coming across to the then WWF. A wonderful, interesting year as the assistant to William Regal. Goldust, obviously a long and storied career. Oh, gee, Goldust goes low. The ref being very lenient in this match towards Goldust. He's been clotheslined. Given to Jerry a low blow. To Jerry fighting back with kicks. Goldust too strong. Okay. 
Interesting move by Tajiri. Into a pin. Two. Tajiri ready. Bustle kick. Could that be enough to put away Gold Dust, the highest ranked competitor in this tournament? Two. Oh, Gold Dust kicks out. Goldust fighting back, he doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to advance to face Val Venus in the semi-finals. He wants to escape out of this worst wrestler tournament. Not a tournament you want to win, this is the one tournament you do not want to win. Looking for a big lariat off the ropes. Missed a couple, but hit with a spin kick from Tajiri. Tajiri's doing a great job in this matchup. I thought Goldust would be the heavy favourite in this matchup. Tajiri has hung with him now into the fourth minute. Series of kicks, flurry of kicks, spinning kick on Goldust. Taking a lot of damage to the head area. with a front atomic drop and there was the clothesline he was looking for. Not quite the lariat off the ropes. Tajiri fighting back. Gold dust counters. Test of strength. Another sidewalk slam but too close to the ropes. Goldust might be looking for the curtain call here to finish Tajiri off. Perhaps the shattered dreams if you can get him into the corner. He'll be looking for Tornado DDT. Tajiri hits it. More damage to the head area of Gold Dust. More damage. Another buzzsaw kick. Tajiri could be escaping this tournament. To the corner. It is Shattered Dreams by Gold Dust. Shattered Dreams! Will that be enough to put Tajiri away? A kick below the belt. Two, three. And it's enough. Shattered Dreams puts Tajiri away. And Tajiri will face Val Venus in the semi final. What a competitive matchup. Tajiri really held on for a long time, but Gold Dust is your winner. He escapes the worst wrestler tournament. And Tajiri will face Val Venus in the semi final. Stay tuned for Rico versus Rodney Mack. Here we have a quarterfinal encounter in the worst wrestling tournament between Rico and Rodney Mack. Rodney Mack starts out with a huge clothesline on Rico. Rico, now Rico was a participant before in the worst wrestler tournament. Go have a look through, uh, shut your mouth to see how he went. Uh, Rodney Mack with a double underhook. Double, dangerous double underhook powerbomb from Rodney Mack. That should be all. Drop Rico on his head very early on. Oh, a very, very long two count. Oh, that was all for Rico. Yeah, Rico participating in this tournament for the second time. Uh, Rodney Mack, his debut. Again, I think his only SmackDown game that he's in uh, was known as Red Dog. Company of John Cena for about one to two weeks on television. Um, then. Spent some time with Theodore Long, and then Theodore Long stole his music and proceeded to use it for the next 10 years, which is an awesome theme, by the way. But does not suit Teddy Long at all if you listen to the lyrics. It is hilarious that a song written for Rodney Mack was used for Teddy Long for a long time. Anyway, into this match. Rico, former tag team champion with Rikishi. Rodney Mack. No such championships. Probably best known for the White Boy Challenge, where he was defeated by Goldberg in about 28 seconds on Raw. And that was pretty much the end of her match in the WWE. But here he is, aiming to not be the worst wrestler in SmackDown. Here comes the pain. Rico with a sledgehammer, channeling his inner Triple H, knocking the ref down. Taking out Mac with the hammer. Now he could be using the hammer. 
just Rico. A rating of just 63, Rodney Max 65. Rico has the lowest rank of anyone in this tournament. So he might need to use some weapons to escape out by beating Rodney Mack here. Now, great release suplex by Rodney Mack. He is looking very strong in this contest. Now the loser goes on to take on the loser of the Chavo Guerrero Stephen Richards match. Now for Stephen Richards, he has been in a few of these worst wrestler tournaments. Check back through to see how he's gone. I think he's in Know Your Role, Just Bring It, and Shut Your Mouth for Stevie. Was he the champion of any of those tournaments? Go and watch and see. At the moment, Rico trying to hang in. He's been put back into this tournament for the second time. Being dominated by Rodney Mack. Rico probably most famous for being the stylist of uh, Billy and Chuck, who went on to be the Tag Team Champions. And then was also involved in the Commitment Ceremony on Smackdown back in 2002. A very interesting time indeed. I believe also a former police officer. Really, probably feels a bit aggrieved at a rating of 63. Being hit down below by Rodney Mack, I tell you what, the referees have been very lenient in this tournament. They've been knocked over multiple times, sledgehammer's been used, many low blows. Rodney Mack might be looking for a, another double underhook, sit out powerbomb. Mac. Rico might need to use the sledgehammer. Huge release overhead throw. Probably has come from the Taz move set. Great idea for Rico to use a low blow. Neutralize Rodney Mac. Get back on top here. Take the turn back off. Great idea. Run into a bulldog. Oh dear, here we go. Double under. Power bomb into a pin, that's all, that's gonna be all. Rico advances to the semi-final. Up, up! Can't believe Rico's kicked out of two double underhook power bombs. Incredible resilience from Rico. Super kicks Rodney Mack out of the ring. This could be a huge upset in this tournament. Rico, probably one of the favourites to uh, take out this whole tournament. If he could escape in the first round in the quarterfinals here against Rodney Mack, that would be a, an absolute miracle. Huge whisper in the wind manoeuvre. What a manoeuvre. Rodney Mack in a head box. You can see the confidence growing in Rico as this match goes on. Almost into five minutes is about as long as these matches go between these competitors. Not used to wrestling for a long time. Used to getting beaten very quickly. Is Rico going to build up for another kick? Also one of Rick, Rico's probably career highlight was when he defeated Rick Flair on an episode of Raw. Can he use that same kick to defeat Rodney Mack with a big spin kick? Here it is, it's a roundhouse kick though, a roundhouse kick to Robbie Mack. Will Rico escape? The tournament. One, two, th oh, late kick out by Robbie Mack. He's really holding on. This has been a highly competitive match. Considering Rodney Mack nearly got the victory in the first 30 seconds, both competitors really not wanting to advance to the semi-finals against Chavo Guerrero and Paul Stephen Richards. A lot on the line here on this episode of Velocity. Another overhead throw by Rodney Mack. Will that be enough? Rico can't have much left. Body blows. Sidekick. Oh no, 
followed by Barrico. Good idea. The ref's not disqualifying anyone. Is this a roll up? This could be a roll up. This could be a roll up. Oh, into the rope. So unlucky. Oh dear, Rodney Mack with a double, double, double underhook powerbomb, stumbling over my words, but that's going to be all. That is absolutely the end. One, two, three. Rodney Mack is victorious. Rico advances to the semi-finals. That's it. Back for Mack. He's out of here. Go see you in the semi finals. Our final quarter final match is Chavo Guerrero taking on Stephen Richards. We have another two competitors here ready for our final quarter round match between Chavo Guerrero and Steven Richards. Now Chavo Guerrero rated at 67 against underdog Steven Richards who is rated at 63. Steven Richards making his I believe fourth appearance in the worst wrestler tournament. Is he a previous winner of the tournament? You will have to go back and see. However always quite lowly rated in these Smackdown games is Stevie or Stephen Richards. There he is with his blue trunks taking on the nephew of Eddie Guerrero. It's Chavo Guerrero, former Cruiserweight Champion. Looking to escape out of this tournament nice and early. Here's Stevie with a double underhook. Stevie DDT. Can he put Chavo away? Oh, into the ropes. Unlucky for Stevie. He's had a lot of matches in these tournaments. He keeps being entered. He's still in the games. Can he escape early in this tournament? He would love to escape early and not have to take on Rico in the semi-finals. If you can escape in the quarter-finals, it's great. Once you start losing, it's very hard to reverse that trend. Chavo with a couple of jabs. Stevie reverses. Stephen Richards looked really good in the early going of this match. Right on top of Chavo Guerrero. Will Chavo fight back? Or can Stevie keep putting pressure on? And perhaps won't be in the next worst wrestler tournament, which will be SmackDown vs. Raw. I believe he's in SmackDown vs. Raw, so we might be in this tournament once again. Been some interesting winners over the years. I won't spoil it for you, but from the early SmackDown days, some really interesting winners. Um, some that you can pick, and some real surprise winners of the tournaments over the games as we've been going on. Stevie's still looking really good here, putting the pressure on Charbo, working on the head area, it's looking really good for another Stevie DDT to put him away. Always like giving guys a couple of finishes early as well. Helps uh, move the game along, otherwise we could be here for a very long time watching these. Oh, lovely rolling neck breaker. Um, free John Morrison there from Chavo Guerrero. Going to be the Moonlight Drive for John Morrison in a few years to come after this. Didn't know it was in. Here comes the pain. Highly regarded as one of the best wrestling games of all time. Definitely the best PlayStation 2 wrestling game. What a game, great characters in here as well. Lots of them you're not going to see, the superstars of the game. Rock Hogan Goldberg. Brock Lesnar. Triple H. Lots of them definitely not in this tournament. Chavo fighting back. Stevie Richards could be looking to get another um, Stevie DDT here, and I think that might be all for Chavo Guerrero. Oh, Stevie kick! Stevie kick into the corner, drag him to the middle, Stevie, drag him, don't put him near the ropes, this could be all. Chavo Guerrero hooks the leg. Can Stevie escape? Oh, two count and Chavo kicks out. 
Really great work here from Stevie Richards. Chavo Guerrero looking in deep trouble. He's looking motivated. More motivated in Here Comes the Pain than he's looked in any other game so far, Stevie Richards. Great looking moveset. Chavo struggling. Big elbow from the oh, knees up from Stevie. He's, he's on fire. Absolutely on fire. The problem is for Stevie Richards though, if he throws out all this offense and still loses, it might dent his confidence to the point where he cannot come back. Charbo now looking good. What's he hitting here? Looks like a ooh, version of a twisting brain buster. Very interesting. I don't remember seeing that very often. So kick out Stevie. Oh he does. He kick out from Stevie Richards. Getting a little bit biased now. I'd love to see Stevie Richards win. Escape out of this tournament. These two don't want to face Rico in the next round. Huge elbow from Stevie to the back. Channeling his inner Shawn Michaels. Huge knees. Interesting strategy to work the leg. Doesn't need to work the leg, needs to keep working the head. Those are a pin. Yeah, one count. About right, didn't do any damage. Don't know what Stevie was expecting. Chavo fighting back, former Cruiserweight champion. Former tag team champion. Oh, X Factor from Stevie. Where's X Pac? Gimmick infringement. Interesting from Stevie Richards, putting pressure up Camel Clutch. Gee, just stolen everyone's finisher. Bit of a Steiner recliner or a Camel Clutch. He might have. Oh, well, thought that was enough for Chavo, but he might submit. Has he had enough? Another highly competitive matchup in the quarterfinals. Not a long matchup. Russian leg sweep from Chavo. We've still got three matches after this to go. Three more matches to determine who is the worst wrestler in SmackDown. Here comes the pain. Stevie Richards dishing out the pain. Breaker. Oh no, not Hangman's neck breaker. On Stevie's looking for another Stevie kick or another Stevie DDT. I don't think it's too far away. That'll definitely be the end. Wow, a reverse twist of fate as well. Stevie Richards going through everyone's moveset. Maybe they didn't know what moves to give him. Maybe they hadn't seen him do any moves. They just decided to give him everyone's moves. In here comes the pain. Definitely more moves than I've seen. Here we go, Stevie kick. That should be the end for Chavo Guerrero. Impressive showing from Stevie Richards. Can he get the three count? Three. And Stevie Richards is victorious. He escapes and Chavo Guerrero will take on Rico in the semi-finals. I'll show you. We'll see. Well, in the four tournaments he's been in, that was the most impressive showing by Stevie Richards. Excellent effort. Chavo needs to regroup for his match against Rico later in the broadcast. Stay tuned, three matches to go. It's semi-final time for the matchup between Val Venus and Tajiri. Here we go in the semi-final of the Worst Wrestler Tournament. Uh, Sean O'Hare defeated Val Venus in his first quarterfinal match. That's how Val Venus has advanced, and Tajiri came up short against Goldust. Both competitors rated 65 in this match. This should be a very competitive matchup. We've just seen two very competitive matchups between Rico and Rodney Mack and Charlie Guerrero and Stephen Richards. 
this one is expected to be another highly competitive matchup. Tajiri on the attack. Beautiful. Drop kick into a moonsault. Another moonsault. He's going to be targeting the head area of Val Venus for that kick. Val could be doing all sorts. Could still be looking for the money shot. Snap suplex. Well done for following along deep into this tournament. Oh, another elbow. Perhaps he doesn't have the money shot in this game. Perhaps he's gotten rid of the money shot. I can't remember what his other finishes are. I think one was a weird knee bar. I can't remember what his other finisher is in here. It comes to pay it. thought it would still be the money shot. That he's used for most of his career. Every time Balvin is going to the top rope, he keeps hitting an elbow. Or a clothesline in this case. Not seen much action outside the ring in these in the quarterfinal matches. Out to the top, another elbow drop. The counter by Tajiri. Seems to me Val Venus has got the advantage in the early going. Tajiri's fighting back. Actually, quite even. I expect this match to go in for five minutes. Nice suplex from Val. Oh, he's using the Eddie Guerrero suplexes. Beautiful trifecta of suplexes. Will he go for some more fisherman suplexes that we saw in the first match? Here, here it comes the mist! The mist from Tajiri! We didn't see the mist in the first round. He's given Val. The mist, the headlock, counter from Val. Can Val see? Well, he's done a leapfrog and another elbow. Keeps wanting to hit the elbow drop. Going for a single leg Boston Crab. Hmm, interesting tactics from Val Venus. Keeps going to the top. Close lines, elbow drops. Here we go, he's going for this strange reverse figure four knee bar submission hold. Very interesting submission. Not one I've seen very often. Not sure what other uh, finishing move he's got in his, in his arsenal. He hasn't used it. Paul Nelson slam. Here we go, this looks like the money shot. Is this the money shot from Val? Here it is! Big money shot. That should be all for Jadiri. He's put on the ropes. The ref's down. The ref is down. Val's hit the ref. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Tajiri was down for about a 10 count. The money shot. Connected with two people. You don't want that to happen. Usually only intended for one person, but sometimes the money shot can accidentally get somebody else if they're standing quite close by. The referee has, has shook that off, wiped himself off, back to his feet, true professional, soldiering on, after taking a little bit of the money shot from Val. Tajiri's fine after being down for a 10 count. Fisherman suplex, this could be all. Perfect flex. Oh, kick out by Tajiri. In a very, very entertaining match. Remember, the loser of this match will go to the final and will face either Rico or Chavo Guerrero.
Little underhook suplex from Val. Plenty of suplexes on Tajiri. Tajiri looks in a lot of trouble. Could this be it? Double underhook suplex. Could that be enough? So that's enough to put Tajiri away. Tajiri advances to the final. Val Venus escapes. What a matchup. It had everything. Had the green mist. Had the money shot hitting two people. What a highly entertaining match. Val Venus escapes. Tajiri through to the final. Two matches to go. Here we have our second semi final match. It is Rico taking on Chavo Guerrero. And we're away in the second semi final match. Remember, the loser of this match between Rico and Chavo Guerrero will go on to face Tajiri in the final. Probably not my pick to win. Tajiri, it could be between Rico and Chavo Guerrero. You could be looking at the worst wrestler in SmackDown. Here comes the pain. Locked on the line for these two. Very hard once you've gotten to the final and you've lost two matches in a row to turn that around. You don't want to be known as the worst wrestler in the game. Four people before have had the dishonour of being SmackDown's worst wrestler. say four people but have there been multiple winners that is the question there have been some people in multiple tournaments have they won more than once Rico was in last year's tournament was he the winner of the just bring it and not the just bring it the shut your mouth tournament thank you for staying with me if you've listened or if you've watched all the way through here thank you for watching uh, don't be afraid to have a look at some of the other videos on the channel. Uh, PlayStation 1, 2 and 3 gameplay videos, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, lots of wrestling. Uh, there are some full game playthroughs, The Bouncer, uh, To The Moon, Alex The Kid. I always call it Alex The Kid, it's Alex The Kid in Wonderland. Um, go have a watch of a couple of those, some intro videos as well. If you do like wrestling, there is a little bit of 2007 to 2009 British wrestling on there as well. So check out those playlists. Some really interesting matches on there. Rico seems to be in control in the early going after uh, Chavo started out strongly. Rico's come back. Having a look at the, the ratings here, Rico 63 does have the lowest rating, along with Stephen Richards has a rating, had a rating of 63 as well, but he beat Chavo Guerrero, who is, has a rating of 67. So the ratings aren't quite everything, it's also the matchup. Chavo's looking very strong in this match. Could it be Tajiri versus Rico? Or will it be Tajiri versus Chavo Guerrero? I don't want to let down the Guerrero family name by being the worst wrestler. We know he's a very talented wrestler. But is he a talented wrestler who keeps losing? Here we go. Here's the, the twisting brain buster we saw earlier. Don't know where they got that move from. Someone might have to find the old episode of Heat or Velocity and show me where he did that move once. How it's ended up in the game. Oh, close, close to nearly at three. What I find interesting about these SmackDown games is some wrestlers have moves as their finishes that I don't ever remember seeing on television. And uh, they may have done that move once or for a week just as the developers were uh, finalising movesets or looking to put in wrestlers moves so sometimes you'll see very strange um, move sets for wrestlers in this game or very strange finishes that they might have been trying out for a week or maybe they uh, didn't really have a finisher 
uh, because they never won on TV, so the developers didn't really know what to give them for a match. Very interesting indeed. Alright, Charbo looking in control. Matches seem to be going longer as we get through the SmackDown games and also as we get through the tournament in the original SmackDown, I think the tournament was completed in under 25 minutes. The SmackDown 2, under 25 minutes. As the games get going, it's getting a little bit longer and longer. So thanks for tuning in and watching along. Hopefully you've enjoyed the commentary. I thought I'd give this a go for Here Comes the Pain. I want to see which videos you guys out there enjoy. Do you enjoy videos with no commentary or do you enjoy commentary alongside the videos? Right, Charbo still in control here. Rico's looking in all sorts of trouble. I don't see him lasting much longer. Uh, could be looking for another roundhouse kick. Don't know if it's going to be enough to put Charbo away though. Most people are looking to oh, counter the roundhouse kick to Charbo. That could have been Rico's last hope. Charbo looking in complete control. If he hits the brain buster, that could be all could be all the submission hold right here. Charbo dominating this matchup, another Enziguri, more damage to the back of Rico's head. Could be time for the Brain Buster. Here it is, big Brain Buster. It's going to be all she wrote for Rico. He needs to pull him away from the ropes. He does. Here's the pinfall. One, two, three. Rico kicks. I cannot believe it. Rico has kicked out. Rico doesn't want to go to the final. This is the longest match in the tournament so far. Chavo continuing on the attack. I still can't see how Rico is going to survive for too much longer. It looks like it's just a matter of time. It's been a really long match. Chavo's hit two brain busters. Maybe if Rico had kicked out a little bit more, he wouldn't be in this tournament. You rate it a bit more highly. The uh, victory over Ric Flair really to note in, in Rico's career. Oh, Gold Dust Thrust. Interesting to see how many wrestlers are uh, stealing moves off each other. There's a whisper in the wind, just glances, Charbo shoots him off the ropes. Hits it with a Tries that big back spin kick, that's what defeated Ric Flair. Oh, one of Rico's signature moves here, the kick to the side of the head. Don't remember anyone else doing that. Thought he was going for a pin. This is a long match here. These two could have nothing left for the final. It would be interesting to do a tournament um, where the damage could have carried on, but obviously that's and he seems to work for the winners, not this reverse, very unique reverse tournament, which uh, I haven't heard of before, just something I came up with and thought, let's give it a go. Let's see who are the worst wrestlers in this game. I can't really see how this would work normally, unless there was some stipulation, if you won the tournament, you were fired, or some way to get rid of someone. But uh, I don't really see how it would help anyone, even if you're in it. It would, uh, if you were put in the, in the tournament, um, that's just a sign that you're not very good. And um, you don't really have anything to gain by winning in the first round. Uh, Chavo here with a STF. Eat your heart out, John Cena. Rico struggling to get to the ropes. Will this be enough? Maybe you should have adopted this earlier. Rico seems to be going nowhere. Charbo's let it go, I don't know why, hit him! The pinfall could be enough. He's had enough. Two. 
and Chavo Guerrero is your winner. Rico advances to the final against Tajiri. Viva la raza! Great fight from Chavo Guerrero. Rico put up a good battle. If he can do the same against Tajiri, he might not be classed as the worst wrestler. And here comes the pain. We have made it to the worst wrestler tournament final between Tajiri and Rico. And we are away in the final of the worst wrestler tournament. Who will be crowned the worst wrestler of WWE SmackDown? Here comes the pain. It has come down to this. After six grueling matches, Rico with an early pin. Six grueling matches. Tajiri lost against Goldust and then also lost against Val Venus to make it to the final. And Rico was defeated by Rodden Mack and Chavo Guerrero to advance to the final. This is the one you don't want to lose. Who will go down in infamy as here comes the pain's worst wrestler? Neither of these two want that accolade. It's the fifth time this tournament's been run. Check out the other tournaments if you want to see who are the winners of those. At the moment though, Tajiri and Rico back. This is the most important match of either man's career. Tajiri's taken advantage early, but as we saw in the previous match, Rico has a lot of heart, has a lot of fight, and kick out of a lot of moves. Doesn't give in easily. He's against a similar opponent, another cruiserweight, just like Chavo Guerrero. He's outpowered by Rodney Mack. And the same thing for Tajiri. He hasn't really faced another cruiserweight. He's faced a quite large gold dust and then also had to face Val Venus as well. So, um, not quite a cruise, kind of in between cruiserweight. Um, Division weight, Rico probably just out of cruiserweight range, but Tajiri well and truly a cruiserweight, the former cruiserweight champion. Well, can we see, well, we've seen the handspring back elbow, we haven't seen the, uh, the tarantula as well, that could have been a good opportunity. Tajiri had some very, very interesting offense. Um, some very good kicks, the tarantula, the handspring back elbow, the mist, the buzzsaw kick. Really unique offense from Tajiri. If you ever, if you get a chance to go and watch some of these ECW matches, highly, highly entertaining, uh, especially the ones from some of the uh, 1999 pay-per-views uh, or 2000 pay-per-views if he's still on those, he might have moved over by then. Um, no, I think he was in some 2000 pay-per-views. Uh, so if you can track those down, make sure you watch those. If you want a Rico match to watch, I would recommend Rico versus Ric Flair from Raw. Just an interesting match. Pass or keep from Tajiri, could this be all? Doesn't decide to go for the pin, that was a very interesting move from Tajiri. Maybe you saw the last match where Rico kept kicking out. But I better keep fishing out the punishment. Rico gonna go for his kicks in the corner. He does. Leaping kick. Snap man. Great reversal by Tajiri. Into the arm ringer. Nip up. Leg sweep. Excellent technical wrestling from these two. To the corner from Tajiri. Can we see the tarantula? We haven't seen it yet. Looks like a tornado DDT. It is. Beautiful Tornado DDT working on the head area of Rico for the buzzsaw kick. Definitely looks like Tajiri's in control, but if Rico can hit a kick, he might just catch Tajiri. He needs to keep fighting here, Rico. Low blow, great idea. Backs have been lenient all tournament, there's not been a disqualification. Here we go, roundhouse kick. Could this be it for Rico? Could he pin Tajiri? Tajiri reverses! Unbelievable, I thought that was it. Spin kick from Tajiri, he's getting angry. He didn't like being hit with a kick. He's unleashing all of his kicks on Rico. 
like Tajiri has gone to a whole nother level. Into the corner. Will we see Tarantula or another? Yes, Tarantula time! Tarantula! Tarantula from Tajiri! I've been waiting three matches to see the Tarantula. Rika looks in all sorts of trouble. Set him up for the buzzsaw kick. If he hits this, this could be over. Tajiri could escape. Is Rico going to be the worst wrestler? In Smackdown, here comes the pain. He looks absolutely done, Rico. Tajiri's knocked him out. Here's the pin. One, two, and three. Rico is the worst wrestler. In Smackdown, here comes the pain. Tajiri finally gets a win. Probably was not even expected to be in the final. Tajiri wins the match. And Rico, and there he is. The dishonor of being the worst wrestler in WWE. Here comes the pain. Well done, Tajiri. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Check out some more wrestling, and see you guys soon. Crab Manning.